Happy Thursday and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for all the love and the support. This channel would not be possible without you all, so it means the world to us. The three biggest ways you can support us is to become a member right here on YouTube, head on over to Patreon and become a member, or slide on over to buy me a coffee for a one-time donation. Each of these memberships include exclusive perks and priority video requests. All right, guys, I'm excited about this one today. We're checking out Oliver Anthony once again, but this time he's doing I Want to Go Home. The last Richmond North of Richmond blew us away, so I'm excited about this one. I loved his authenticity. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, YouTube, I'm excited about this. And we got Oliver Anthony, I Want to Go Home. Uh, when he stepped on the scene, I don't know how long ago, maybe a year now, nine months, he took the country by storm, took the world by storm, really, uh, with Richmond, North of Richmond. This is the second song I'm checking out of his. I love the authenticity in his voice. It looks like it's shot in the same location, maybe at his house, kind of in the backyard, uh, which I love, just him and his guitar. So, all right, let's roll. Well, if it weren't for my whole dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Voice. Every day living in this new world, There's one, two, many days to me. Son, we're on the brink of the next world war, and I don't think nobody's praying no more, and I ain't saying I know it for sure. I'm just down on my knees, begging the Lord and take me home. Already got them goosebumps. Man, when he sings, I get them goosebumps. And I think that's why he resonated with so many people. Just the authenticity in his voice. And you can tell when this dude, what he's delivering, he believes. He feels. Uh, it's, 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 he's coming from a place of he's lived it. Uh, he feels it. A lot of the artists in the music, music industry today, you know, they're trying to catch on that next trend. Uh, whatever's going to get them a highlight, whatever going to get them on the news or the next big star, the next big, this dude's humble beginnings. Uh, he's at his house and he's speaking from a place of maybe some pain, some defeat. Uh, and you can feel that and that translates to the listener. And I think that's why he exploded. So beautiful. All right, let's go back a little bit. In this new world, up in the psych ward, cause every day living in this new world, one, two, many days to me, son, we're on the brink of the next world war, and I don't think nobody's praying no more, and I ain't saying I know it for sure, I'm just down on my knees, begging the Lord and take me home. Man, I love this. I want to go home. I don't So long. I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way. Ooh. Cussing myself every damn day. There's always some kind of bill to pay. People just doing what the rich man say. I want to go home. I love this song. I liked the last song. I love the last song. This song has hit me in a way I'm like, man, because we've all felt like that, you know, like coming through life and ending up in a spot wherever you're at out there. I ain't trying to preach to nobody, but we've all been in these situations. Like, how did we get here? I didn't used to feel like this. Uh, and Oliver Anthony, you know, he resonates with people because he's just talking about his life experiences. But many, many people across the world feel the same way. And it's a beautiful thing that music can pierce the soul and translate like that and make you feel a certain type of way. I mean, I'm over here getting goosebumps just listening to him. Uh, and that's just beautiful. And his voice, man, something about his voice, just the grit in it. It just, I mean, you feel it. When he sings, it's not perfect. And I think that's what makes it perfect, um, is that it's not perfect. And none of us are perfect. So I think the whole thing he's doing unintentionally is working. <laughs> All right. Let's keep rolling. 
People just doing what the rich man say. I wanna go home. Beautiful. Got his dog in the background. Now four generations farming the ground. Grandson sells to a man out of town. Two weeks later, trees go like down. Like a cut. Only got concrete growing around. I wanna go home. I That's a cool verse. I'm gonna listen to that again. He's talking about you know, four generations of people farming, and then you know their whole lives are, you know, uh, upheaved when people build over that. You know, and this guy just. He just tells a beautiful story, man. He's a storyteller. I just love it. All right, let's keep rolling so y'all don't yell at me. <laughs> you talk too much. I know. Now four generations farming the ground. Grandson sells to a man out of town. And two weeks later, the trees go down. Only got concrete growing around. I want to go home. I wanna go home. It's a great hook. I don't know which road to go. It's been so long. I love that. I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way. Cussing myself every damn day. People have really gone and lost their way. They all just do what the TV say. I want to go home. If it weren't for my old dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. I love that. He does a lot of that. I think he did it with the last song. He goes back to the original uh, motif. So he starts with a story. He you know, he starts with, uh, I think that's how he began the song. And he goes and he tells a story. And then he comes back to it at the end. And it goes full circle. Uh, it, it rounds it out. It's a great songwriting tool. Many people have used it over the years. Uh, and he does it so well. If it weren't for my old dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Man, what a song. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Forgot what Bible verse that, that is. He didn't give the... Uh, and I know he reads scripture too at the beginning of his concerts, and that, and that's cool. Is he talking about I want to go home, want to go to heaven? Uh, I believe he's a religious man. Uh, a song like this, you listen to it, and it starts making you question things and and think about you know what happens, you know what what's life all about? The big questions, the philosophical questions. Where do we go when we die? Uh, man, it just really makes you feel something. That was an excellent, excellent song. Uh, I love this Bible verse. I love that he's promoting Jesus Christ. I love every bit about that. Uh, it's cool, man, to see in today's society to be bold. Um, man, that was awesome. I hope y'all enjoyed that as much as I did. Appreciate it. Thank you all so much for joining me on that one. That was such a well-written song, and it made you feel exactly how a song is supposed to make you feel. It made you think about things, made you question things, give you the goosebumps, make you feel a certain type of way. Just a beautiful song. The authenticity, the realness, the pain, it all shows through. Beautifully written. I, I enjoyed that so much. Guys, if you haven't had the chance, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so when we release more content, you all get it. We appreciate all the love. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.